given f of x equals 1 over x minus 4 and g of x is 1 over 6 minus x, we have to find out f plus g, f minus g, f times g, and f divided by g, and then determine the domain for each of the functions that we made in interval notation. Okay, so functions, we are either adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing both of uh, these two fractions. The first fraction being f of x, and the second fract uh, fraction, sorry, function. We're dividing and multiplying and adding and subtracting functions. The first function being f of x and g of x. Now, there are two ways of notation to do your operations for adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing functions. That's all the way down here. So you should memorize this notation. Now they gave you one type of notation. Me personally, I like to use the other type, which I will be uh, reorganizing what they're asking for. I think it's just easier and better to follow. I'll show you guys what I mean. So the first one is f plus g of x. This is addition. This is the same thing as saying f of x plus the g of x. So all you have to do, and the tips and tricks are down here, we find out what operation is being done. In this case, it's addition. And then all you got to do is substitute what the function represents and then just solve. So what was f of x? Oh, well, f of x was 1 over x minus 4. So 1 over x minus 4 plus... And then what was g of x? 1 over 6 minus x. And this would equal your f of x plus g of x. Now, for your domain, when we have to do domain, you're always going to take your domain and, you know, do it in interval notation from the first one that you wrote without simplifying. Never take a domain after you simplify, because that's when stuff goes a little wonky. So always take your domain values from stuff that you do not simplify if you can simplify. So I like to put a star there just to make, I like to just check and, and know what I'm doing. Now let's just see if you can simplify, but eh, there's really nothing I can do here. You don't have any common denominators. They're different denominators. So I'm just going to leave it. F of X plus G of X is 1 over x minus 4 plus 1 over 6 minus x. And that is your new function after you added the two functions together. So this would be the answer. Now we just got to do the domain. So if you guys have trouble doing the domain, we have a playlist just for that. It's called Domain and Rage. It's on the channel page, on the home page. So check that out. This domain type questions are going to be more fast because, uh, you know, we have tons of problems just doing domain. The only thing that you really have to worry about is your notation. Parentheses are exclusive, means that those numbers do not get included in your domain, and brackets are inclusive. Those numbers you do include in your domain. Now, the thing that you have to worry about for domain values, the, the things that trigger uh, you to question, you know, are there any exclusive values or values that you cannot put in into your function are denominator values. So when you have a denominator, always just check it. Remember, the rule of thumb, and I will put it up here, your denominator cannot equal zero. Those are your exclusive values. So, for example... Over here, since I didn't simplify, I'm going to use this one. But over here, x cannot equal 4 because 4 minus 4 would make this denominator 0. And looks like x cannot equal 6 because 6 minus 6 would make the denominator 0. These are your two exclusive values that are, should not be in your domain. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them up here because I'm going to write the domain down here. So x cannot be equal to 4, and x cannot be equal to 6. So when I write my domain, all other numbers are possible except for those. 
and you go from um, least positive to most positive. So six is lower than, uh, sorry, four is lower than six. So you have to write the four first. Now you're coming from negative infinity because technically all other numbers are okay. So negative infinity all the way to four. So that is parentheses because you have to exclude it. Or now going from four to six, there's no numbers that are exclusive from four to six. So that's my next part, four to six. Or, and now six and beyond, six comma positive infinity. And the infinity values are in parentheses as well because infinities um, do not necessarily exist numerically, just in theory. So that's why we have to exclude them. It's just a concept. So there's your domain. Moving on to the next one. This one is subtraction. F minus G of X. Well, I like to write it the other way because it looks simpler to me. F of X minus G of X. Now all you got to do is just plug in what f of x was and what g of x was and solve. f of x was 1 minus x minus 4 minus g of x, which was 1 minus 6 minus x. I'm going to put a star here because that's the unsimplified version. I'm going to use that for my domain. And now if I can simplify, I will, I will try. But this one, just like before, I don't have like terms on the denominator, so I can't really go anywhere. So f of x minus g of x would just be one over x minus four minus one over six minus x. And that's the answer for the function part. So that's the new function when you subtracted uh, f of x and g of x. Now let's do your domain. So I'm just gonna put it up here. Um, so always go back to the beginning. What are your exclusion values? For this one, it's the same as before. X cannot equal to four, because that would make the denominator equal zero. For this one, X cannot equal six, because that would make the denominator equal zero. But all other numbers are fair game. So I got to start from all the way from negative infinity and work my way up to positive infinity. So infinity is in theory, it's not a real number. So, uh parentheses, negative infinity all the way up to four, or then I go from four to six because there's no exclusions in between. And then that was ugly. Okay. And then six all the way to positive infinity. That's it. So this, the domain is the same as the before one for addition. Okay. Halfway there. Now we're doing multiplication. So this is f times g of x. I like to write it as f of x times g of x. Kind of makes it look easier because now I know what f of x is and I'm multiplying it by g of x. So let's see. f of x was 1 over x minus 4 and I'm multiplying that by 1 minus 6 minus x. I'm going to put a star here because that's my original. Um, and let's see, can I really simplify this? I mean, I can combine the fraction into one. So I will say f of x times g of x equals one times one is one over these. I'm just going to keep as x minus four times six minus X. If you wanted to foil this, you can, you know, do your double bubble and, uh, you know, foil it out. I'm just going to keep it like this because you could always bring it back to this. This is more simplified. So this would be the answer to your new function. Whee! And now we just got to do the domain. Now I put a star for the one before because always make your domain values from this, the one that you just, you know, put the answer as the first part. It's the same exact thing as before. Here's the denominator, x cannot equal four. Here's another denominator, x cannot equal six. 
So it's the same domain as the other two. I could go from negative infinity, oh gosh, negative infinity all the way to four. Then I go from four to six. And then I go from six all the way to positive infinity. And that's it for that one. So the concept here, guys, is to, when you're doing your domains, always go on your original function that you made, not simplified. Okay, last but not least, division. F divided by G of X. Well, this is the same thing as saying F of X divided by G of X. Now I can clearly know what F of X is and what G of X is. So F of X is 1 over X minus 4. G of X is, this is divided by, G of X is 1 over 6 minus X. I'm going to put a star here because I'll work off of my domain for this. Um, and now I just got to simplify. So I'll say f of x divided by g of x is anytime that you're dividing by a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. So it would be 1 over x minus 4 times reciprocal this, right? So this would be just 6 minus x, or 6 minus x over 1. So I will put that if you guys, it takes two seconds. 6 minus x over 1, which would then be, and I'll put it over here, f of x divided by g of x equals 6 minus x over x minus 4. Okay, that is your simplified version. Now this is a great example in which you do not take this, the simplified version for your domain. If I took the simplified version for my domain, I would only be looking at this. And I would only say that x cannot equal to 4 because this x is in the numerator. However, that was your simplified version. You go back to your unsimplified. And because of that, this is still a denominator, so x cannot equal 4. This is still a denominator, so x cannot equal 6. So it's the same domain as before. So I will write that one up here. Domain is negative infinity all the way to 4. 4 to 6. 6 all the way to positive infinity. And that is it. Oof. So domains are tricky, but now you know the trick. Always go by your domain of what you wrote first, not your uh, simplified version, all right? So, guys, what do you think? This was fun. Functions are fun. Get it? Functions are fun. <laughs> oh, I'm so corny. Okay. Anyway, but thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully this lesson helped you guys. Let me know in the comments. If you want to get more math help, click the subscribe button. We got tons more videos coming your way. And we thank you so much for the support. Uh, it would really help us out. Um, but yeah, anyway, I will see you guys all in the next lesson. Take care. Bye.